G'day. It appears that you are still alive. Good for you. At some point when you buy a bit of astronomy equipment, you realize that being able to use it as much as you can actually justifies the expense of setting up an observatory because being able to just use that gear as much as you can really helps get the value out of it. And Diego from Sidereal Trading actually flew up to help me put it all together, which I really appreciate because I'm not the handiest of dudes. Diego is available across Australia if you feel like employing his services to come up and set up a dome for you with prior arrangements. You may need to ply him with alcohol and fly him to a luxury location. Welcome to part two of the Observatory Project. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. <laughs> Who are you people? And why weren't you on my channel eight years ago when I was playing bad covers? This video is sponsored. Uh, sponsored by a good friend of mine, Diego Colonello. Uh, Diego, what are we doing here? We are putting together an next dome observatory. <laughs> and what's the name of your company? Sidereal Trading. Now, Sidereal Trading have been helping me for years with Star Stuff and with the Next Dome, which you see in most of my videos. But we've taken out the Sky Shed Pod walls and now we have a uh, big mess. First thing you have to do is clean up your space. Second, to draw a circle is here. With your help, put it together. So first thoughts, you do need to be a little bit handy with a screwdriver or a drill. So I'm using my 40 year old Black & Decker drill, which uh, is from the 70s I think, uh, but it's doing fine. Decided to keep the tiles uh, because uh, it'll drain, help drain water away from the observatory. However, um, we might punch out a few of them just where the tripod legs go so that the tripod legs are flat on the concrete which would be much better. First casualty of the day. <laughs> Do be careful with this edging, it's rather sharp straight out of the factory so if you're holding things you slide you certainly cut yourself. Now if I can do this anyone can. Washer, wheel, washer, no. We're also racing against time here with the sun because I know that the sun's going to come out here and it's going to be brutally hot. Because I stuffed up and put marine grease all over it, we're going to clean it up with this uh, with this stuff from Bunnings. So hopefully it won't be covered in bugs and grease. What sort of plastic is this? Do you know? ABS. ABS. Yes. This I should say this plastic has been in the sun for. How long? Two years? Two yeah. years now? Yeah. When you buff it like that, it comes up as shiny as my new Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it just came out of the factory. Yeah. It's so good. It's UV treated. It will last like this forever. The roof is on. Do you remember how I used to have to push and it made all of that rough noise and stuff on the old dome. Check this out. Oh, this is better than sex. Just spin it around. Oh, it's smooth. <laughs> how good is it? Is that, is that better than sex? Do I have your approval? So Diego, you said it, you said it was better than you expected. Oh yeah. Why didn't you expect it? Ah, because the floor, I didn't know the floor was nice and, and level. I told you, I built that floor. This is your new Cloud Watcher. You feel me there? Cloud Watcher. Yes. That's this right. is what detects This is clouds. what detects clouds. Hey, it's uh, Future Dylan here. I just wanted to say this thing is amazing. There's the rain sensor there. So that's the IR sensor. That's temperature, I guess. And the Emma monitor there. And this has been logging data ever since he plugged it in. Really, really well. Check this out. Temperature, clouds. 
wind speed, the rain sensor, which says dry and technically it's not raining right now. Um, but there is some rain on the sensor and you can see there it's, uh, it's logging that as well as it comes. Wind speed and the sky temperature there. When it rises, that's when it's detecting clouds as it goes over. So I can see why they've chosen this thing because it really is sort of all in one. Kind of does everything. A new man cave. <laughs> oh yeah. So as soon as you have your battery installed in here, mm -hmm. uh, this motor will drive the shutter open. Yeah, is this a manual if I wanna... Yes, if you wanna open it manually. Excellent. Together. What are we putting together? I'm connecting Dragonfly power, solo power to have a cloud watcher working. This will control the power of the observatory. This is the switch for all the network devices. It's a good shit, mate. How does it look, mate? It looks like a pro thing, mate. <laughs> it looks super pro. <laughs> you have to tell me when you're recording. <laughs> no, this looks amazing. There's our home center. Diego. What's happening? You got your corona. <laughs> it's the Jeez. only beer to have at the end of the world. <laughs> I can uh, tell Voyager to stop imaging if a clouds come and then as soon as the clouds go away you can resume imaging and make the most out of your nights. Mm. Yeah, so cable management has become uh, way more of a priority than it used to be. I really need to sort this out. So Diego's gone home and uh, I am now in cosmic isolation. The country has been locked down. This was just in time, but I just wanted to show you how far we got in just a couple of days. I have a lot of stuff that I still have to work out. I've got to get my head around dome geometry and offsets, uh, making sure this all slaves correctly, making sure the mount can switch on and off remotely and get synced and aligned and all that sort of stuff. But I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of time to sit around and fiddle. You know what they say about fishing? Sometimes it's not about going to catch fish. Sometimes it's about the journey. The journey's fine. I actually like fish. I like to eat fish. You know what? That metaphor sucks. But it has been fun fiddling and I'm sure there's a lot more fiddling to go. But I do look forward to getting those big fish eventually. Thanks for coming with me on this journey. Thanks again to Sidereal Trading and Diego Colinello for coming all this way to help me out. Do check out Diego's work. It is amazing. Not just his astrophotography but his macro photography as well. 
he takes things from the very large to the very small. Do stay tuned for more of your end of the world programming here on Star Stuff. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and remember everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.